That's right true. Now. You're right. We can do something about the mouth now. <laughs> How can we? <laughs> You're looking at me. No, I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm just say asking. Yes. I'm not saying yes. No. <laughs> no, I'm just asking. To say yeah. right? I do something think about so. the mouth. Because what and, I'm saying is mm-hmm. maybe. It's in the same way of knowing your your childhood was what it was, but now you're an adult and you have the responsibility to heal yourself. You, you have you have um trauma, right? Mm-hmm. In, in the African community, both for men and women. Yes. For some reason though, the men seem to be functioning in some fashion how right, right. they don't want to get married they have they have one well black them. black men have more marriages than black women even though they are statistically less than black they women. also don't take care of their kids too statistically no, there's no, more than they no, don't no, take no, care of their own kids that's not true that is true what you mean oprah, oprah, what numbers oprah, are you looking at? oprah actually came out and she, I, I would actually and i want to hear about that 50 percent 30 thing i, I, I want to i want you to up. um to to Google Oprah, because the CDC actually documented this, that black men are the most involved fathers in America. Shocker, yes. That's what I'm saying, that the problem. I'm not saying that can't be true, but... but I, I'm saying it is, because the numbers are lies here. But you'll figure that but, out later. But what I'm saying is, though, black men are getting married more than black women, right? We have more black men married. Men have to choose to, who they marry. That's why we can't choose who we marry. There is, there is that, right? Okay. But... When you look at black men versus black women, right? Black men, even though you have to choose, you still also have to be accepted by a woman, right? As a man. Yeah, Otherwise, like marriage proposal, yeah. but yeah. it's more of this, more of them than us. So. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, if both of us want to get married equally, mm-hmm. and more of of us men are married mm-hmm. and less women are married, you could kind of look at it that way. But what I'm saying is, then when you take the black men out and you take them out to other communities, black men have more success versus black women. Well, of course. Yeah, I'm getting right. It. There's, there's that, but because they have to get chose. But yeah. also, and if I'm to be fair, and I don't, y'all are I don't, universally desired. Yeah. Okay. And and <laughs> if I was to, if I was to be fair to black women, I also don't really think black women like other Culture. cultures and races as much as black men are very much open to going out in anyway. the same way <laughs> that every other culture wants our black man we want our black men yeah. we want to be reunited Absolutely. and but, have this experience that we haven't ever really and had also, and like you said black but men look for respect we're looking for love and we're not loved black people are not loved by anybody that's y'all problem y'all go get respect by these other yeah. races but y'all Instead are not loved staying... when y'all turn around they're talking about you they're calling you names they're talking about your hair they're they're or are they're not they don't respect or they don't love you or they're they or you. they're minimizing you to something that you provide for them whether sexually <laughs> yeah where they're financial or whether these Absolutely. things but let those they don't things believe that. So let those things ladies, leave because my let them I'm leave. saying marriages but you're not saying health marriage yeah no but well because exactly. there's still a part yeah, of you that you can never know you will never know the complete part of you without see, looking at your image what what, what period what, what black women have been saying about you guys go out there you'll get used or you would do this and that most of these things we also see them happening within the same community with black women anyway so it's it's not necessarily easy to understand to say oh yeah when you go out there you will find gold diggers it's like even in our culture, we not we not we no gold diggers because right? not not many of y'all got dope gold for us to dig like that <laughs> but my thing is why do they why do we the why do why are we called those things those women though? don't want y'all money no, no, I'm saying oh, so. This, I say, I thought they no, no, no. Money. Yeah, what I'm saying is most men understand women anyway want their money. Okay. But when black women have been talking about the passport bros, it's like mm-hmm. you go there, they only want you because of your money. They don't mm-hmm. want you because you're an actual good person or you're yeah. an actual That's cat, true. Right? Yeah. That is true. But the, the fact is even here, black women are also still saying if you don't have six figures, I don't want you. But that's every woman. But see, it's only, it's only... <laughs> No, no, no. And I agree with no, you. To no, woman. no, no. I mean, I mean that that is cross culturally. It's just that because black women, women are women. It's just that black women get shamed for it. Yeah. Nobody's shaming homegirl with the MRS degree that mm-hmm. goes to her little four year college to get it paid for, and then meet her husband and is set. Right. Mm-hmm. Nobody's shaming that those that their lives have been cons- their their parents even groom them of how to get a husband mm-hmm. how to speak how to do this how yeah. to ask for nice gifts and also only how to black women are demonized and get, al- and get alimony we're the only ones like demonized that. for the same treatment that so other many women. other women the, have always yeah. received Absolutely. and still wait, wait, wait. receive what those do, benefits what do you mean same other women have received what treatment 
of treatment being of being of. taken care being of by protected. a husband. Oh, okay. Yeah, but so you mentioned that these other women know how to talk to men, their wives, essentially. She she said that. No, she you said just said that. it right now. What did I say? That, that they've been know. raised. They've been raised no, on how yeah, to speak yeah. to husband, to like, their men, but, and but stuff. how to get what they want. Exactly. Yeah. Though. Right? How to be groomed to get what they now, want. Now you're exactly going where I was going. Mm -hmm. If I'm talking, because the way I talk to black women, which sounds very harsh, and I can <laughs> agree with you guys, if anyone really thinks I'm misogynistic or no. I hate black women, no, I, I really hope you don't. I have an, having me here. I have an 80k following on Instagram, and I get told about this no, every I see, day. Yeah, I see it, right? but I don't believe but, that you but hate my, black women. But my thing is, you though, come from a black woman. Remember that. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> my my thing is, if I have a sister, my sisters get it even worse, right, from me. I would like to tell you what I think works, what's practical versus okay. what caused what you are right now. Yeah. We can talk about that, but you need to function on the dating market the future. or else men are going to be using you for sex and leaving you, which is what's happening with yeah. black women. Okay. We can talk about, yeah, it was because of slavery. and the, But the thing is, what do you need to change? Most women are not aware of what they need to change when you tell them they need to change that they don't think they need to change it right yeah. the conversation about you need to qualify for a man oh my god i wrote a book it's actually down here okay. that talks about you know um how do you actually get married mm. from the man's mindset what am i looking for when i'm vetting right you actually need to qualify for me the same way i have to qualify for you otherwise it means you're basically above me in some sense if you don't need to qualify for me and the question is do you need a six-figure income to qualify for me no you don't but you need to make sure your mouth is in check to qualify for me mm. most of the things that men are asking for are things that most women have control over be fit be cooperative and be feminine women outside of our culture of black culture they understand and they've been raised to do these things that's how they qualify for the highest black men the highest, the athletes, and all these other men that have the actual choice. Because if exactly. you want, to, he's if, right. If you, as soon as they're done with him or they're not making money, they leave him and go get another yep. high, high value Absolutely. man because they don't love you. So when you say that, it just <laughs> makes mean, me you're think. a benefit the, the for white, them. Women leave the man for another high value man. Yeah, oh, exactly. oh. It happens all the time. Yeah, because they don't love oh, y'all. Yeah. But my thing is this: if that's why I go back and be like, this all makes stuff. As you know, it doesn't work. But if you find somebody that loves you and they care about your well-being, they're going to watch their mouth. They're going to learn you to know what to say and what not to say. Like you just said, mm -hmm. I'm figuring it out with my man because I love him. If you find a woman that actually loves you and they want to see you grow, you're not going to worry about none of those things. The but her mindset you know, has to, her mindset has to be, I actually have to do A, B, C, D for this man. I'm, no, no, I love him, so I'm going to do A, B, C, D. Yeah, but... But not, I'm just going to do A, B, C, D. But most women come with, take me as I am. Now. Um, not all of them. A great majority. I, I did. Yes, I do. I, I, I do. Women. I do agree. I do agree that <laughs> I women. Here, <laughs> I do think that women, like, take advantage of the fact that they're a woman. They're, you they know. Like, yoni, and they, yeah, yeah, like, they, they're expected with certain things. But you just say no to I those women. I got 20 women. other guys on my hinge that I've meshed that are not asking me to check my mouth yeah. and you are asking me to check your my mouth they just move on from yeah. you or they just are going to be a hard time oh yeah because they'll deal with a man that lets them be reckless but they're not looking to find to respect them or you know love them. i know i got a but friend. that's not her, all of her them. mouth's so sharp that's a majority insane. it is a lot of because the, the dating pool has pissed in it because nobody wants to stop pissing uh. so those women and those men need to heal their self my thing is if you know that's a non-negotiable mm -hmm. if a woman fly with you leave her alone you're not gonna learn how to love her she's not gonna love you but you can find somebody that's gonna pretend let me ask you this have you ever gotten far enough with somebody that you really enjoyed or you really could see going to the next step However, that was the thing where you're like, no. Like, did, has it ever gotten yeah, that yeah. far? Yeah, no. Did you, did you see it being even able to change if you if you were patient with it? Mm -hmm. What happened? I've done that before. And that kind of changes the way I look at most of these things now because you're hopeful. You're giving the woman the benefit of the doubt rather than doubting the benefit of the woman. <laughs> yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Uh, she probably could change with patience with explanations i will show her this speaker this femininity coach mm. i will sit her down i'll show her what my culture and the benefits of this and that or what people that are married for long have been doing 
this is what most functioning marriages look like. They don't talk to each other mm-hmm. this way. And then sometimes she can hear you. Sometimes mm-hmm. you don't. But the problem with being people, people are consistent. So if you are not feminine, it takes a lot of effort and will for you to move from that non-feminine person to being a feminine person. Just mm-hmm. as much as if I meet you and you don't work out regularly, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to get you to be someone that's disciplined enough and will do that without a push is quite difficult. It is. Sure. And so, for example, if I was to say, for me to date you, you have to go to the gym three times a week and you are not going at all. Yeah. That's an insane standard yeah, to set that, for someone. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. So y'all not gonna be together. <laughs> she How? might do it for a month. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. she likes you so much. Mm-hmm. But because it's not her, mm-hmm. she's gonna wake up and be like, if you love me, you gotta do it. No, you know, no, no, no. At okay. some point. I hear what you're saying. One thing that I do think is more malleable than we might realize is that when two people make a connection and they see their flaws and their pros. People will listen if they see that connection. And I'm talking about it because I'm one of those people that I didn't realize how my trauma um, affected me and my husband. And I got it together pretty quick. Why? Because it's not... First of all, I was unaware. Mm -hmm. That was the biggest thing. But by by my husband sitting me down and saying, you know, babe, this is how I feel. When you say this to me... When you, when you use this tone, and he said that, he was like, it's like, I feel like I don't matter. Mm. I feel like I'm not being respected. And I was like, oh. But it took him telling me that. Somebody that, nobody, that you cared about. No, nobody, and I'm not saying I went around reckless talking, but like sometimes I can say stuff snap because I feel like, why? I'm being the man, mm-hmm. right? Because I'm doing all this stuff and I don't feel like I should be doing because he should know this. Mm-hmm. But we're both teaching each other because why? We, as black people, both, he, his parents are still married, but like, I haven't had that practice. And one, so my thing, thing is, I can want, we practice one with thing each I other? I wanna say is even if the, what's for you is not for everybody, there's a man out there that loves somebody to talk fly to them. You know why? Cause they mama talk fly. And they think that that's, they love languages. A woman don't talk aggressive to them, that they don't love them. If you find a woman that's not up to your standards, you go to the next one. But my thing is this, your standards might be debilitating you because you're not willing to grow because you've already set your your thing. And that's why I tell women, mm-hmm. when you set these boundaries and nobody's able to, to you know match them, you're deb- you're pushing yourself down. Yeah. And it's a reason why you're doing that. Well, if, mm-hmm. You don't need a woman that you're work say, out that much. Uh, well, if, you're saying, if you're saying, right, that mm-hmm. my standard for someone to be at least not as yep, right, mm-hmm. um, is, is there and someone is okay with that, Question is between the two of us as men. What actually works? Again, we come back to the practicality and the numbers of it and the results. Are the marriages where people allow that stuff to happen, surviving or not surviving? There's some men that I'm telling you that that's that's okay with them. Yeah, but so them loud mouth women can go over there. But you, if you want a quiet one, mm-hmm. you go get you a You have cultures one. where women loud mouth a lot, right? Yeah, like Mexican. The American, it's a lot of people that's like that. Though. It's just more demonized when it comes to us. us yeah, of but course. it's 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 not as it's not as prevalent, right? And and also there's a give and take, right? She might be able to talk like that, but some of them even know how to talk anyway, even if they're talking a lot. Mm-hmm. Like my mom, for example, right? She will talk a lot, but. Mm-hmm. There is boundaries she doesn't go over that mm-hmm. I've heard people go over with at least the 10 years I've been here mm-hmm. that I'm like, there's no way you can have a relationship with someone if they go over this boundary at all, right? Mm-hmm. And sometimes I feel like we, 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 we equate being talking as much and all that with just not necessarily figuring out the content that's being said. People here say some nasty stuff that I'm like, there's mm-hmm. no way you're going to be married that for... Was, that- for they, a long time. They was raised and like that. Like they was raised like that. But my thing is, if all and the women... And the results we get are obviously to, reflecting to of that. To a certain extent. But if all... So if they're all the women you get on hinge and they were, you know, they work out all the time and they don't talk. And what, what was your third thing that they needed to do? You don't have... A, you have another one? Like it's Oh, like fit, like, fit um, feminine corporator. Oh, cooperative. Well, let's, let's say they, they all are like that. Mm-hmm. Then how do you vet after that? So what what's the next thing you go to? What are you looking for? All these women, they're beautiful. They got they got their they can maintain their own, and they follow those three. Then what is your next thing? If a woman is fit and she's a feminine incorporator, mm-hmm. and then what's the next? There's nothing next. She's no, no, no. House. All of them are like that. A hundred, a hundred of them are like that. So what's the next thing you look for? Well, 
how old is she? And that's the problem with y'all men. You are not, you, you don't want a connection. You don't want somebody that, see, and that's scary. That's the one I'm talking about. You don't want no connection because that can just be cut at that's, any time. No, no, no. That's, I think that's the difference between us and women, right? We are very pragmatic in some sense. The connection doesn't matter. Sometimes comes with time. You, you know, arranged marriages, people didn't have none of that mm. connection stuff and they never really actually, they actually grew to love each other because There's, yeah. they understood what their roles were. And then they appreciated each other with time as it went. Mm -hmm. But you had to make sure you make that money you, though, right? You got my back as my husband. And you got be my back as, you know. Yeah, but I got your back because you're taking care of me. Exactly. <laughs> so if you can't take care of me, what happens? They're clear gender roles. Yeah, but when you can't it, take care of me, what happens in those in those cases? When you can't take care of me, we work till you get back on your feet. I don't leave because you don't have money no more. This is the woman speaking. Because we are together till death does us apart in these cultures. Mm. If we're going at it the way it should and go. And somebody else assigns this person to Like, you. I'll tell you, my mom, for example, um, he knows. He, it was rough. Mm. To a point where my mom's sisters were telling her, you need to find another dude. Yeah. He's not <laughs> cheated. Yeah. He's not done anything. They He's just, not raised a hand at her mm -hmm. or she's been spoken to in any disrespectful way. But he didn't have money. He mm -hmm. was too dusty for them. <laughs> She has three kids with this man, but they're still telling her, you can't find another one, right? Mm -hmm. But because of the vows she took, she respects them. She understands what they meant. She stayed with that man. Now she's living better than all of the women that were telling her to live anyway, mm -hmm. right? But what I'm trying to say is in most of these cultures, some of these things are very gray and white, which could be restrictive. Mm -hmm. But it makes it easy for you to really understand what's the husband's job, what's the wife's job. Mm -hmm. In the West... We've done too much hybridization mm. of some sort that people are just confused who's supposed to do what. And in that confusion, people are having fights. And then are we though? Or are we just confused in like the black group? Everyone is confused. I, I'm not trying because to... there's a push with Western. The difference when you the Western civilization says individualism. We focus on what's best for mm -hmm. us. We don't care what's best for the group. It sounds like what you don't even care what happens to the kids. Yeah, that you exactly. But you, to, but yeah, yeah. but mm -hmm. when it's not Western civilization, and you know, in Africa, you, you care about the collectivism of it, and how is this going to affect everybody? We it's don't, values. Yeah, America, we don't have that. We get up and we do. You know, they tell and they've been telling us since we were kids. You know, be, just be yourself. You know, <laughs> just do it. You know what I'm saying? We don't you care. You are the center of your world. And, it's like, no, you're not the most and important that's not, thing. Yeah, and that's not black and white. It's just that's how it is in America. What so. do women say when they divorce? I wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. The un unreconcilable differences. Those are the things why we could not consult. <laughs> yeah. So my question to you, as you were explaining um, the girl in her mouth. So with us knowing that this is the context in which if you consider yourself a part of, you know, the universal, the universal black person, right? Mm -hmm. If we can all agree that these are the things that we are working on because of the trauma, mm -hmm. does that not offer you up a little bit more patience in the same way a woman is patient with a man who, you know, she would prefer a six figure man, but she, <laughs> she doesn't, but because she sees that inside what she has is gold. I'm so sorry. I'm saying, I so can I don't she stay patient? I'm listening. Oh, you're good. Yeah. But I'm saying she's she's patient there. So does that not go on the other flip side with you see that this is obviously a trauma response versus a personality trait that is gridlocked in her. You see that this is a trauma response. She's she's honest about it. She apologized, but it happens. And then you see she's getting better. Can you then choose to be patient with her and her bond spot hoping that you know one day y'all can the reason i was laughing is mm -hmm. i don't think women are patient with men financially i don't mm -hmm. think women are patient uh women what's patient like what what, <laughs> what does that look like you gotta wait till they get the money girl <laughs> women wait at the finish line and uh, they walk around it's a nature of yours and I, i'm not I'm not in some way bashing you for that, right? Mm -hmm. But the problem is with the way that, like, the internet and the dating system is kind of going in with the culture, it's kind of made women to share the successful men. And then mm -hmm. each woman is walking around saying, that's my man when mm -hmm. it's your man mm -hmm. in some way. If you actually really knew that, well, of the successful men, 
you actually probably don't stand a chance or you don't have one and these are the next line of men that you actually probably can get realistically mm -hmm. i think more women would give more men patience mm -hmm. but it's almost difficult for most women to know which men to give patience to mm -hmm. because you get so much validation from even the men that are out there ah yeah. men are not discriminating in far as attention and even sex mm -hmm. even if i don't want to really be with you but if i can see i could get some i will tolerate and deal with you yeah but it messes your psyche because this is now your new level and it's like no you this is not your new level you were just the next option before lotion <laughs> right yeah for that guy mm -hmm. but the problem is then you walk around with an inflated self of self right mm, and I, I, I see and that. instagram mm -hmm. doesn't help either mm -hmm. because see you see an average girl she has a photo and it's 500 comments of you know just fire emojis from mm -hmm. other women and all this and that it's like i don't think this helps to make people grounded no, to no. know exactly where they are insta no. gratification that's so what we're into i don't think women are obviously giving men the patience I that agree. they need for status number two I don't think the world owes any of us understanding. Mm. If I'm not performing, what do you mean? if I'm not performing, the world is going to give me what I deserve, not what I, sorry, it's not going to give me what I deserve. It's going to give me, Jesus, I'm, it's, it's going to give me what I deserve. It's, it's not going to give me what I want yeah. or what I think I should be getting. Ah. Right? I could think I want to get a woman that is gorgeous. She's a nine, whatever it is. But based on exactly where I'm at in life, I'll get that. The same way as a woman, if your mouth does not qualify you for that man that you want, that you want to be patient with you, you're probably not going to get him. No, you're going to end up dating a guy out of jail and who's, who needs somewhere to stay. And you're going to move him in and you're going to get pregnant by him. And then you're going to have a whole bunch of baby daddies. That is what happens. Sounds like you know someone like that. No, I don't. <laughs> what I'm saying is that, but that is what we're talking about when we're talking about cycling and, and yeah. what's the issue with black men and black women dating. And then now you've devalued yourself and now other men are not going to want you regardless of your degree, where you stay, mm -hmm. what kind of car you drive, or how you carry yourself, or even how big your butt is. Nobody cares. Because we are not holding ourselves to our own expectations. We're holding ourselves to expectations on from society, society norms. And I really feel like people need to put the phone down. We need to stop looking at you know youtube and stuff all day we need to look at what's going on around us what we actually can touch you know things that are tangible instead like you said looking up you think phone, that's practical that is very practical we're human beings we're being conditioned to do this now but we can always go back to what we used to be used i see to. people holding more phones as we go for exactly. in the future but i never forget when i met nefertiti we were at like what mm -hmm. the little um god i sleep over yeah it was like this mm -hmm. woman who retreat and we're all of a sudden making bees like we're back in the motherland like making pot waste we're doing, bees yes yeah, together working that's together so and connecting and that's how me and her end up even being friends because we actually got to like connect as real people and okay. not like other people and so when i asked you that earlier about the dating thing it's it's that's mind-blowing to me that men y'all are not seeking a woman that you hold her hand you feel something or when y'all talk y'all could talk like buddies and best mm -hmm. friends or that you know that she got your back you know regardless of how much money is in your pocket you you seeking out somebody because they're skinny and their butt's big and they're this and, they're, and they'll shut up when they're and, talking and i'm like you can get that everywhere you can like you said you can hop on the plane and be a pastor you can get that but you're never going to get that woman that's really meant for you. There is a woman out there that's created for you. I don't know how Christian you are, but isn't that a story that, like, there's Eve just came out of Adam? Yeah, but it, it doesn't mean it's just one person. So you're saying no, that no, women no, are yeah. interchangeable in your life? I take it as a practical <laughs> uh, point of view of just mm. there's women that will probably be close to whatever preferences and values that you have in life. And given whichever you run into first, that's the one you end up with. Mm. It's not that there's just What this if you meet someone that's better? Is that why a lot of African men cheat? What? That's a lot of <laughs> question. I'm asking. African men cheat more than any other men? Is that here? I don't know. But they have wives and they talk to other people. Well, Afri African men might probably be a lot more t open to polygam polygamy, polygamy, sorry. Exactly, because right? you're, you're not content with the first one you got. No, no, no. That you Our culture. With. Our culture allows us that back home. I understand that. Right? The, the culture allows it here too, but it's it's not the way that you guys do it. But what I'm saying is that it, are you more open to having multiple women or just... Me, yeah. no. Well, others, do you think that's why? It's because the one, the first one that they ran into that they got married to because they fit her box, they really don't have a connection with her. 
I don't think it's a connection thing still. The the problem really why I guess most men sometimes end up leaving, I guess sometimes it's just because you probably are not necessarily speaking well. You have marriages where there's no sex. Stuff like that. Because you're not compatible and there's no connection. And to be honest, those are practical things you can talk about as you're dating. I wouldn't want to date somebody. I, have, I mean, uh, have sex with somebody I'm not connected like, what's with. What's your st- sex drive? Before yeah. you even get into it, you know, okay, we're compatible, at least as far as on a sex drive yeah. level. Um, we are compatible as far as on a Christian religion, yeah. you know, uh, finances. Okay. You might like spending, you know, your every two weeks in Bahamas. Mm-hmm. I might want to just go there once a yeah. year or never right yeah so we need to be practical and talk about those things but those things are never really happening because people don't really know how to actually court and date mm. anymore the mm. things that they spend time doing and actually vetting each other for mm-hmm. are none of the practical things that actually really mm-hmm. matter in, in, in an marriage. actual relationship mm-hmm. when you ask a lot of women and men to be honest really for sometimes what exactly is the lifestyle they're going to live and why they need to live it you'll find just it's either they learned or saw something on tv but they've never really put thought into exactly Mm -hmm. what what it is they're looking for so i don't know i I, it's it's obviously a crazy amount of reasons why people find second wives as you just talked about african husbands but i don't know i've never looked at the numbers to know if Mm. african men are really doing that a lot more than you know other races of people okay well, you know, the rumor here is that black men don't cheat. That's what we say over here. We're not African men, but black I've, men I've don't heard, cheat. I've heard that nonsense. You heard that before? It's black never, men don't cheat. It's nonsense. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I never heard it. It's a joke. It's like I know. A, it's I like it's it. being sarcastic because black men don't cheat, but <laughs> but they be cheating. <laughs> Basically, that's but my thing is just it's about because content. Of women. It's it's content. But there's there's not enough to go around. But like I said, I appreciate talking to you because it's just, you know, it opens my mind. I've always wanted to ask me, like, what made you get married? And here in America, you know, they have, oh, she was pregnant or, you know, or um, just other stuff. Like, she left. She went, they call me, it happens a lot. Yeah. You're pregnant, okay, yeah. let's do it. Yeah, exactly. You know, or, like, uh, she kept hounding me about it. Or, cause like, like I said, they'll be in a relationship with you for 20 years, but won't get married here because there's no, per se, incentive. People don't see the incentive. Or be engaged for a long time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They don't see the incentive. We call you guys the engagement queens, black mm. women. Why? Get engaged a lot. Because they love engagements. It's pretty. It's nice. It's nice. You know, like, but but actually having to be a wife that is uh-oh. yeah <laughs> yeah it's it's not that's how it feels but so are we saying then are we agreeing in any way that there's a shortage of men or is there a shortage I do of think men? so I feel like it's a shortage of men that black women want <laughs> that's about it but about, yeah it is number wise I think yeah, it's you're a shortage right. of men that's why they share them it's it's way more men especially here yeah but um. Right. Oh, I mean, there's way more men here. No, it's way less. I'm sorry, it's way more women here than men, and so mm-hmm. that's why men kind of. I'm not gonna say they, they, ooh, they just, you know, they could pick and choose. Mm-hmm. They really don't, and they don't have to commit. Think about it. Like I can play with her for a little bit, pretend like I like her, and then I can like her, and I can like her, and they can just run. They do, but they do. Or I can and, do this poly thing without having oh, the poly finances you know to support all my queens. How expensive it is to date? <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. Um, to really date because I know a lot of poor people that date all the time. Well, my I husband guess. tells me I'm expensive all the time. I'm like, I don't ask for bags. Like, I don't ask go, for a lot. You, you go on Hinge. Um, <laughs> most of you know the corporate women that I used to, because they can buy themselves stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Like, she's not trying to go anywhere cheap. No. And when you when you put that into consideration, you have two or three dates in a week. That's that's at least four five hundred dollars that you just put in. So you want to date a corporate woman? No, I'm not saying. You're just saying that it's a it's a bill. It's a bill. Yeah, it, it is. is. So it's they a... they date what you can afford. Date the ones they want to go to Nick and Sam's. Date, date the ones they don't mind. To be honest, mo- most men are, are not tripping over that. I uh, really. It's just yeah. that even though but how I, like 200 300 dollars on a date and you're not sleeping with them, men are not tripping over that. I think that's what they cry no, about no, all oh, the time. Oh no no, I'm saying like men would definitely want to go and date a girl that's not from corporate oh, America. Okay. Right? Yeah, not okay. necessarily the oh yeah the money people yeah. are obviously thinking about it and it's it is what it is but yeah that that's really where i s- look at this situation i'm like okay fine if there's less men are there any women and you now have the possible bros and guys going outside the country because yeah. they're claiming there's no 
you know, actual wives here. Yeah, I understand people that want to be wives or equipped to be wives. Because, I mean, being a wife is hard. And you hear horror stories, you don't see it working. And like you said, it's set up oh, to... It, it, no, just the things we've seen and shown in America. The perspective of marriage is dark. It's very dark. Community. It People is. People look at it and it's just... Uh, and we need to change that. And so, like I said, like you have to um, focus in. If you're going to absorb media then look at black love look at people like idolize people that are in healthy relationships yeah. and that making it work savannah so james yeah yeah lebron james is nobody knows her she's um mm -hmm. drama free yeah she takes care of her kids and, you know. yeah but she's not anywhere where people celebrate it. and i understand because it's not juicy there's no drama mm -hmm. there there's nothing to sell well, I mean, there's I a lot of basketball. Yeah, there's when a lot I think of about LeBron. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of basketball. I think about stuff. Michelle Obama mm -hmm. a lot. Everybody loves Beyonce and Jay Z. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but... America's <laughs> weird. Well, you'll, you'll figure it out. Once you get... Well, Beyonce is weird for me because she pushes single ladies, and she's obviously not a single lady. She it's the media, baby. We gon' they gonna do whatever. It's capitalism. Do she makes have capital... money, obviously, off that. Yeah, and, but you'd think people would be smart enough to see that. No, somehow they're not smart here i'm not saying that you did i'm gonna say it i'm from, <laughs> I'm from america and i've been here i might be here forever but you know americans are not known to be the most intelligent we don't pick up on cues that's right there in front of us so i love beyonce yeah. i do get what your point is but once again i still think we put so much pressure on the on so many of our black pop people to be these world changers which they have I plan on being, you know, up there, <laughs> yeah. you know, one day, right? And I am going, inshallah, to be using my platform for the betterment of our people. But we do not hold other pop stars to the same level of being a revolutionary for yeah. their own. You see what I'm saying? And so it's like, sometimes it's a little unfair. Meaning other cultures? Or not yeah. Other? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, Taylor Swift, yeah, right? Yeah, do we do that? No, we, we don't, don't do that with her. No. We don't do that with across the board but now we look to these people and we're like y'all gotta be doing that That's i do funny. think i do think it would help but yeah. like to criticize her no we gotta work it. we gotta be at home yeah you know what i'm saying i i got married because my mom was married i never seen my mom with anybody outside of her husband so mm -hmm. that's ideal for me like that's why I, I was encouraged to get married um you have to have that in your house you have to show your kids so like, let's let's talk about the future so you say let's not talk about the past but mm -hmm. In our households, we need to stop telling black little girls they don't need men. Yeah. You know what I mean? We have to stop telling black boys we don't need you. That's mm -hmm. what the mothers are telling yeah. them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We don't need you. are not necessary. We have to start rebuilding our children and I'm our Freezing future. our eggs. Yeah, free, that. Well, I'm not And even we got to turn them. off the TV. Well, Honestly, we have to turn off the TV. And we got to, yeah, we have to. If you're having kids, you need to be at home with them. You don't need to be in the club shaking your ass on TikTok, dancing and playing with them. You should be actually. <sighs> Being a mother. That you know and also mothers who aren't in the club that are being mothers, they're also working two to three jobs who don't have husbands at, you know, in the house. And that's also a reason why they're not home. But what's wrong? But still, when you do get home, I'm looking for a husband. I'm carrying myself in the light of being a wife. One well, day. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's I'm why just... I think everybody likes Sierra or whatnot, because she was a single mother that got chose. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can get to that point. You don't like Sierra? Yeah. Oh Why not? Because she made a bad decision and now everybody's supposed what's to just... No, 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 Listen, no, no, no. I don't know what's happening. What okay. happened? Okay. You know she had that baby by Future. Oh. But Russell came in and gave her like... So why don't we kids. like her? I don't know. I love her. The reason why I don't like her is she keeps disrespect disrespecting the man that gave her a second chance. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, he's what okay mean? with that. How she keep disrespecting him? He, he, she kind of showy. She kind of twerky, naked. She did, She's, she, yeah. she doesn't, Oh, you think that's disrespectful? Being yeah. overly like... Very. Your husband wouldn't do. Is it a problem with him? It's not because. So he, then, why you know, are we? No, no, no. But no, 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 no. I'm saying. See, in other cultures, that's how it's looked there. Like you the know, she could be more. You know. The but that's a judgment. Yeah, but the, the problem is, her husband could let him do that, right? But we, that. the men, don't allow him to do that. No. What? Well, accept her what? as she is. What do you mean? We, the black men, don't want him to let that shit go on. <laughs> why? Because then he is letting his wife influence other women to think that's fine to do. We mm. don't want that. Right? Y'all don't want what? We don't want women who show off their asses and you're married to me yeah. online. You're not doing that. Mm. You're just not. Actually, you're not getting married to me. Anyway, you should have seen <laughs> that. Anyway, yeah. the thing with him that most men think is he should have seen that this woman is obviously looking for a stepdaddy. Oh. Right? 
she's not looking for a husband because clearly she's not acting like she actually wants a husband she wanted a man who will be there for her kids and then she disrespects him again we talked about it does if he you, see it as disrespect again listen, he might not have a choice if you don't respect your man in public you might as well say i don't love him mm. but what if he doesn't see it that way he's maybe not raised right mm. but that's still your point of view yeah no no, no. because sexuality it's, is is no, judged no, no, different no, all no, across no. the world it's not that it's the point of view of is the it? man it, but I'm saying, like, what what um, culture is okay with a no, mother no or a culture. woman? None. Like, white people? Black, like, None. What, what? Like, twerking, no, no, being no, showy? No, 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 but you're going outside naked, basically, halfway naked. And you're is married. that what happened? Did yeah. I miss? Yeah, That's she doesn't she wear does. a lot of clothes. That's what she, she does. As a mother. She went to those, uh, was it awards or whatever it is, mm-hmm. wearing almost a see-through dress. Yeah. I can challenge you to find any respectable men in history or cultures that did anything that would because allow their wives to go like that. believe that once you get married, you're supposed to it. change. And Do you feel what I'm saying? You're married, like, but, but you're married. And that's their point. That I think it's unfair. To who? To, I think it's unfair to release judgment. Like, that's a point of view. Yeah. You remember when we say because, we need to bring back shame patriarchy. in the community? Mm-hmm. What? You, do you remember when we say we need to bring back shame in the black community? I, we need to bring back I shame. I know I said it. I do. I believe that we do need to start because um, we are holding just, us accountable. We're basically letting every, yeah, anybody can do what they want. Yeah. That's how we ended up here. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I do believe in that. Like... Women but if we were in church. another country and if we were had a dress, it would be okay. So no, just in that context, in another country where it's tribal, where it's tribal for us to wear a skirt. Which country not would that be? Many countries that don't wear shirts. Yeah. Where women oh, are like brawlers. So I'm world. saying, yeah, so I'm saying world, in okay. the context, as long as it's in the context of acceptability, right? But yeah, but to- that, then it's not an issue because we have to understand that that modesty sexuality is different in a lot of different but not, cultures but that's not sexual they're not over sexualizing their stuff they just don't wear shirts to, to us we would be to us we might feel uncomfortable going into their context yeah but they wouldn't that's the same thing like you know so that's um, what i'm saying only in context that's but what we're speaking of in america yeah. that okay is very disrespectful okay yeah so um if and that's that's the problem that we seem to have at least when you have those kinds of things happening she's obviously disrespecting him there's no reason why he should have given her a ring if she was doing that sadly he's where he is now he well, could know, be okay he used to with date, that. you know outside of his rights first and she did him bad and that's why it oh did she that's why yeah so she's just he's tolerating that's how they look at it tolerating whatever he has to tolerate in order to be with her <laughs> Yeah. That which is sad because I don't know. I just don't like police in women's bodies. I'm not saying I'm not saying that we talked about a lot about certain things having an effect. But why should we police women's bodies? Because it's their body. But we have to protect women. How do you what, protect what if this someone is, you can't what if, police? What if this is not? What if this isn't seen? This isn't seen as modest. If you go to in, Dubai, in you would yeah. In right? Dubai, you wouldn't. Well, I'm saying you, even here, people no, who no, think wait, wait, wait. I shouldn't be showing my stomach, but it's. Do I have to you, live up to that level you, of you, modesty? Do you remember what we were talking about when I was saying that most of our women here don't understand what the actual meaning of being a wife means? Yeah. I don't know. That's such a... That's a, Okay. I'm going to let you continue. The only reason why I'm saying, and I don't mean that as, you know, to throw shade or anything, is to say the core, the core being of a man is to, res, to get respect from his wife and from his peers and people around him if his woman dresses and acts loose she makes him lose respect in front of other men they might not tell him mm-hmm. i can tell you the conversations that happen with my boys when people's wives act some kind of way that you start disrespecting him like oh he's such a cock she's giving it all to everybody or she's doing this and that but he's paying the bills right and evolutionarily speaking, there's a reason why men have been like that. Because we we needed to make sure we know paternity. There was no DNA. If I let my wife go out there loose and do whatever she's doing, I could literally be taking care of the poor boy's kid forever. And never okay, know. so let me ask you this. What about the standard of modesty where I would not be okay? Let's say if I went into another religious meeting, mm, Nation of Islam, right? Mm-hmm. I'm dressed like this. 
this would could be i'm not gonna say would could be seen as disrespectful it will yes. be it will be so it's not, no could. who's it right the culture that you're married into <laughs> yeah that's who's right your husband when you get married 